hi you guys welcome back to my channel so I know today I originally said that I was going to put up a tell me more but I went back to look at one of the stories and I kind of still want to go through it and write more notes because it is kind of a controversial topic so I'm still working on it I'm debating if I even want to talk about it so I'm not posting that I'm not sure if there's even going to be a tell me more this week but if there is I promise you guys will be the first to know obviously but instead I thought last week when I was getting ready for my birthday I said you know I'll do a fun look or something and I was looking through my eyeshadow palette and I know some of you guys asked me where I got this palette some of them don't have names some of them do a lot of them are from makeup geek and they're from like forever ago so I don't even know if they still exist but who knows if I can find them I will put them down in the description bar below but I was looking through my eyeshadow palette and I was like hmm I wonder what kind of look I could do I was looking up here and I have this beautiful yellow and orange and I was like I kind of like yellow and orange and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could do something with it. Like, you know, I kind of the image I have is like a really soft orange to yellow look with like a really thick liner. So that's kind of what I'm going for. And basically just being creative for you guys. Like I have no reason for this at all. I'm just doing it because you guys are really into the makeup tutorial, not tutorials, the makeup get ready with me's and um, a lot of you guys mentioned that you like how casual it is. So I rarely, no not rarely, I never do colors. So first things first, of course I'm going to put up my hair so that it's not in my way. I'm going to do my eyes first again just because I feel like I don't play with a lot of color. So I don't know how much fallout is going to happen. So yeah, let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to go in with a transition shade first. Just so that I have, you know what, no, what am I even talking about? I need, I need to do something with my eyelids. I'm going to, of course, start by concealing my eyelids just to make sure that there's no discoloration. So that it's just one even canvas. For those of you wondering, this is the Morphe E46 brush. It's my favorite. I use it a lot for my concealer. You, it's perfect for under eye concealer. It's like the best brush ever. Okay, then I'm going to lightly, very lightly, set it with Benai Luxury Powder. Now I'm going to go in with a transition shade. Just ever so softly. Okay, now I'm going to do the crazy and, hmm. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go in. I'm going in with yellow. I'm gonna go in really lightly. I literally don't ever play with color, you guys. This is a very weird concept right now. I don't know if you guys can even see the color really. I don't even know if you guys, no, you definitely can tell that I put yellow on my eyes. I'm going to build it up really slowly because I do not want to put a crap ton of yellow on my eye and then regret my choices. The thing is, I don't have enough makeup brushes to play with fun colors. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the orange. I don't know how it's gonna pack on. I don't know how pigmentation works with this one, but it looks really pigmented. Oh, pretty. As you guys have noticed, I like simple. I'm going to kind of generally get the idea of what I'm going for. I want the orange to be way higher because I really want a thick ass eyeliner today. look hilarious right now I feel like my yellow disappeared so I'm gonna put in a little bit of yellow I 
This is like the most basic sunset look you'll ever see in your entire life. Now I'm going to put on primer. I already have moisturizer on my face. So I'm just going to go in with primer. So I kind of went through my face really fast because I basically use the same thing all the time because I don't really use very many different products for my face because once I find what's right, I don't ever really, you know. So now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. <clears throat> a lot of you guys ask me where my lash curler is from. This is actually from a company brand. I don't even know if it still exists. It's called Misha, and I actually got it when I was in Korea like 10 years ago, and I'm still in love with it. Hopefully, you're able to find it. If I can find a link to it, then I will put it down below. Okay, now I'm going to take my Hank and Henry eyeliner and do the thickest liner of life. Let's see if I can even do that because I like haven't done a thick liner in a long time i can do a regular liner but i don't know if i can do a really thick one so let's see how this goes That's as close as same I can get it to. Oh my god, I look like um a candy cane. And no, 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 not a candy cane. A candy corn? A corn candy? Candy corn? I think it's a candy corn. Um, the ones that you get for Halloween, the one that are, the one that's like white, yellow, orange. Is that the shade? I don't know. I'm gonna put on some dramatic lashes and see what happens. While the glue is setting, I'm gonna put on some mascara. Sorry if you can hear the truck in the back. Okay, now I'm going to finish my face and see what happens. <laughs> it can only get better from here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I realized I didn't even do my eyebrows. Let me gel down my eyebrows because... I'm going to contour because my face looks like an egg right now.
And then for my inner corners, I have this pale yellow right here. I think I want to use that for my inner corners. I think I'm going to keep it neutral for my lip. I kind of look like a scarecrow. Is this what I want to wear for Halloween? <sighs> it's kind of cute. I'm not lying. I kind of like it. I don't know how I feel right now. I think it's safe to go with a nude. So I'm just going to line my lips. I think I'm gonna go in with Velvet Teddy, although that's a little too, maybe it's okay. I could put a gloss, I guess we'll put a gloss on it and see what happens. I'm kind of into it, I'm not gonna lie. I never do color. I never, I seriously never do color, but I'm kind of into it. Um, how would you guys feel if I literally took this exact face and then made it into a Halloween thing? There's a chance I might be going to a Halloween get together at a friend's house and I'm like, hmm, what if I literally took this look and added things to it to make it look like a scarecrow or something. Let me know if you guys are interested. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know how you feel about color. Do you like color? Do you not like color? Do you like neutrals? If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.